one. That's a pretty good one too. Yeah. Third one. Yeah, look at the size of this crappie. This is a beast right here. Yeah, you got it. You got it. That's a good one right there. What's going on, family? Welcome back to Twin Rivers Outdoors. Today, we're gonna go out and I'm gonna show you guys a real easy method that I like to whip out during the summertime. This catches a lot of fish, but let's get right into it. Before we get there, hit that subscribe button and join the family. If you guys wanna learn more about crappie fishing, this is the channel for you. Join the family, we'd love to have you. Recently, we just got monetized on YouTube at the lower level. So we've got channel memberships available and underneath this video here, there's a little thanks button. You can click there and purchase a one-time thank you as well. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Thank you for joining Twin Rivers Outdoors. We'll catch you on the water. All right, y'all. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a real easy method to go catch these summertime crappie from the bank. Super easy, these are good, pretty good fish too. All right, y'all, let's get right into this one. All right, y'all, so, this technique is a really, really easy one. It's a casting technique. And it's a slip cork setup, or, you know, you can use a regular bobber this way too. I'm fishing this thing about, I don't know, I'd say five and a half, six feet deep. But all I'm doing is I added a little split shot to this. I added a split shot underneath this bobber. And all we're doing, we're just casting it out, letting that jig get down to the depth, and then we'll give it a few pops. Go ahead and get it out there, show you guys. Let that jig get down, give it a few pops. And then this is this is the technique we're using. So all we're doing here is we're just going to start the retrieve with the bobber on, just retrieving, just slow enough to take the slack out of that line and keep that jig down, but the bait's moving. So during the summertime, that's super important because a lot of times crop you're going to want that bait moving unless you're vertical jigging on a brush pile or something, which I do have brush piles here. But they still almost always want it moving. Look at that, look at that. Just dragging it, oh, it came off right at the bank, right at the surface. I added that split shot just so the bobber, when I am retrieving, doesn't pull the jig or doesn't go down to the jig to keep the jig at the desired depth. There's one. There's one. That's a pretty good one too. All right, so what we did there, we're using that same technique. We downsized the jig head a little bit, went to a 32nd ounce jig head. That seems to be the ticket. So 16 pounds may have just been a little big for him. All this technique is allowing you guys to do is have a bobber on, extra casting distance with the bobber, and it lets you keep that jig at the perfect depth even while retrieving. There's one. Yeah, another one. We're just keeping that jig moving. That is the secret there. Just keeping the jig going. There's a nice, probably seven inch crappie there. Seven incher, I'll take it. Instead of using a split shot, you can also use a swivel. Either way will work, just as long as you can keep that bobber up instead of pulling down to the jig. We're just keeping that jig moving. There you 
guys are. Another decent little crappie. It's about a six, seven inch fish. Not bad. Most important thing is just keep that jig moving. There you go. Getting them on those pops too. So even if you're not doing a constant retrieve, you can always hit them with that stop and start, pop, pop, start, stop, pop, pop. It's a bigger fish, about a seven. Get into the bucket there. We're gonna find some bigger ones, I can tell you that. We are gonna find them. go and these fish do not want to help me out today not the biggest one we've caught on the day but not a bad fish Pretty good one too. Yep. Not a bad fish there. Pretty good fish. And in the bucket. There we go. So we're catching them. We're catching them up on this dock catching them on brush piles we're catching them out of open water there's one yep just pop 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 giving them all the movement there you are About a seven, seven inch fish there. Not a bad fish. There's one. Yeah, look at the size of this crappie. This is a beast right here. Boink. Look at that animal. That's a two pounder. Yeah, maybe not. He's a good fish though, real good fish. That's probably a 12 incher there. Nice fish. Getting them shoulders back after that spawn. Looking good. It's a good fish right there. That's probably All right, switch body styles. We switch to a two and a half inch dancer from brush pile and green goblin as well there's a crappie Not a bad little crappie on that bigger body style. Let's get him in the bucket. Right, let's fix your jig here. So you can use this technique in many, many ways. You can use that retrieve, or you can kind of use it to like modified vertical jig. Just keep that bait moving. A real easy way to do that way to keep it moving and not change your uh, your water depths at all it's always going to go right back to where it was there's one pretty good fish too not bad just keeping that jig moving super easy technique to just go out and 
get the job done whenever you need to, you know. Not a bad little fish. Slip cork, or cork in general is just one of the most versatile ways to go out and catch crappie year round. I've made a video about this rig in the past, if you guys want to check that out. Just doing it a little different this time. When I made it thin, you were able to let it sit still and just do pops. Now you got to kind of drag it. That's all I'm doing, just doing the drag. As you guys can see, I'm just taking this rod tip, pointing it down, and pulling this jig wherever it needs to go. Let it sit for a second, fall back to the depth, and then just repeat the process. There's another one. Nice little fish. Here's one. Just pulling that jig. Another nice little fish there. bucket full of them, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good day fishing right there. There's another one. There we are. something out there open water I wonder if that's not a bluegill oh that's crappie that's a crappie way out there okay that's good to know we got them out there too we got these crappie everywhere go they'll eat that one too I guess he's not a very long fish but he's fat a little fatty there all right so say you don't have any slip bobbers and you or you don't want to use a slip bobber everybody knows what these old bobbers look like right no slip it just wraps around little metal hooks on both ends of it you can do it with these too I'll show you guys how we do it same principle really just let that jig get down there just keep her popping you gotta reel a little bit slower this way just because you don't have that extra weight And there you are, just like that. Just keep that jig moving. You could do this without a bobber also. It's just a little, a little easier if you do have one on. It's a little bit easier to keep it at that, uh, that desired water depth. And it's the craziest thing. You would think, well, I can cast at them and I can reel a certain speed and keep that, that jig at that, that water depth that it needs to be at. I'm not that great at it, honestly. It's just I get way more bites 
using this technique when I do have a bobber on. That's just my experience, I guess. Yeah, you got it. You got it. That's a good one right there. Yeah, not a bad fish at all. Nice little eight, eight, nine incher there. Not a bad fish. We're gonna go back to exactly what we had on before, that two inch hammer and green goblin. Pretty good little crappie there. bad fish. That's what we're after right there. In the summertime you gotta pick through those little fish to find those big ones. This is when they're all schooled up together. The summertime. So you're gonna find a bunch of fish. You're just gonna have to catch a bunch of little ones to get those bigger guys. bit smaller but still a pretty good fish there we go another nice crappie that's a good one there real good fish yeah look at the size of that crappie That's the one we're after right there. He ate that thing good. I can barely get a hold of it. Now that, my friends, that's a beauty. That's a beauty right there. right in the top of the mouth right where you want it there you go let's take a look at this fish this is one of the best fish we've caught today nice probably 11 12 inch crappie right there nice black looking good it's a good fish that's a nice looking bucket full of crappie right there all right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoy what you saw today. Take this method out and give it a shot. During the summer, it just gets tough sometimes, so throwing something different at them might just be your ticket to success. Hit that subscribe button for me, join the family, and don't forget about those channel memberships. Join the VIP. I'd love to have you guys. All right, we'll catch you next time. Thank you for joining Twin Rivers Outdoors.